This is on Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Salakia, to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of Great Millstone, one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere items, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gospel people here forbear another beautiful day to prophesy the downfall of this wicked, sinful kingdom called America. Babylon the Great. going through it but i mean you know what, what did the scriptures just say i mean what did the scriptures just say the scriptures say well look when the righteous are in authority we rejoice but when we rule we mourn i mean that that's plain so when i wake up every day and i'm catching a prayer you know and i go through what i'm going through and look man it's the results of the wicked ruling the earth i'm saying high rent high bills high just everything thing everything is spending i mean everything is mourning See, what to say again? A quick little lesson through the spirit, but that's the thing about it. The thing about the beautiful, the most one of the most beautiful things about it is that we're at the end of the wicked ruling the earth and wickedness. Man, we're at the end of it, man. So just hold on. This devil is not gonna get away. He's not gonna get away. He's not gonna get away. Let's get this again. Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So when Lord Yahweh shall come, I'm saying, and set up the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, then we rejoice. Then we rejoice. And, and, and over here in hell, aka Babylon, the land of our captivity and throughout the four corners of the earth, where brothers and sisters are scattered at, the Lord still knows that throw us a bone. The Lord still be throwing us a bone in captivity, man. You see? Brothers got apartments, houses, cars. I'm saying a little drip, little jury here, there, things of that nature, man. Look, we got this word first and foremost in captivity, man. So, so it ain't all bad. It ain't all bad. But look, we're gonna rejoice in the kingdom, right? We're gonna sing aloud upon our beds. And I wanna hold that on deck too. Just hold that on deck. That songs. We're gonna sing aloud upon our beds when we get in the kingdom. We got these heathens. We got these heathens in captivity. But I wanna read this again. Proverbs chapter 29, verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. That, that's why people are going crazy over infamil, baby formula. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, just everything. Certain things that we can't even speak about. Cause, cause Sleazy is really on a um, on a rampage right about now, taking videos down. Yeah, look, this devil don't even want us to exhort each other, man. You see? You make a video of it just exhorting each other, telling each other to keep pushing things of that nature, keep believing in the Lord. They're striking, man. So, so, misinformation and all this nonsense. Well, you're about to be the misinformation soon come, man. You see? You're about to be missing from the whole equation soon come. Don't worry about it. Because when the wicked bear fruit, every, everybody mourns. But when the wicked ain't ruling, everybody rejoices. And I want to get this Lamentations. No matter of fact, I want to get this, um, what is it, Zephyr, Zechari Zechariah, Zechariah, we, we warned that we barely can speak. But it's all good, though. We, we, we barely can speak, but it's all good. Zechariah chapter 11. That's the speed demons out here today, boy. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's a little more reason on why Israel should want to get the hell out of here to hope for that. More reason, all this damn noise, man. Just all, all day noise, man. At work, noise. At home, noise. At the park, noise. At camp on Saturdays, noise. You in the damn woods, way back deep in the woods, you know what I'm saying? That's saying no, what? Noise. Well, let's get this though, Zechariah 11 and five. Who's possessed or slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They, they, you see what they do to our people? You see, an uh, incident just happened up there in Buffalo. You see what they do to our people? And they hold themselves not guilty. This dude say he ain't guilty. This dude say he didn't do it. This, this dude, you know what I'm saying? I only know his name. This dude said, um, I, um, I plead not guilty. So no matter what they do to us, they're going to plead not guilty. Well, the, and didn't the scriptures just say that, though? Didn't the scriptures just say that? Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5 Who's possessed to slay them 
and hold themselves not guilty. All that lynching and all that, the habitat people, man, they deserved it. They deserved it. They hold it. All, all of them got off scot free. Didn't nobody pay for nothing. That woman didn't pay for no saying lying on Emmett Till got him beat to death. No matter what happens to the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, everybody gets off scot free. You, you, you ever notice that? You ever notice that? Well, look, you ain't over here in America. You ain't never seen a dot head East Indian get beat by the police. You never seen an Arab get beat by the police. Hell, you ain't never seen a, a real duty in African get beat by police, right? Well, shit. Have you ever seen a Chinese man get beat by the police? Hell no, nah, man. You just seen the so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native American Indians get beat by the police. Mainly. Mainly. And every time they're saying they do it, they get off scot-free because they hold themselves not guilty. Hell, the judge is their best friend. Hell, they grew up with the judge. Or the judge is best friends with their mom. And everybody gets off scot-free. But the Israelites, what the scriptures say? Zechariah, it's like it for the ranting, but you know, sometimes it happens. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Who's possessed to slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord. For I am rich. That's how America, I, I, I think America became the richest continent on the face of the earth. Off of free labor, man. Off of free slave labor, man. You know? This is, um, they got 50 stinking rich, right? Off of, um, f shit, we built America. And then they'll say all that tobacco, all that cotton, and things of that nature. They got rich off there, right? And their own shepherds pitied them not. Because the only thing that our so-called leaders are thinking about is a damn bag, man. That's why the scriptures say, what oppression make up for wise men? Man, let's get that right quick. Oppression make up for wise men, man. And a, but a gift destroys the heart, meaning the mind. Our, our own shepherds, the so-called leaders of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, guess what? They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. You think Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackass Jackson, um, Creep Show Dollar, which, which, which those aren't our leaders, you know what I'm saying? The head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, those are our leaders on the face of the earth, you see? And the man that taught them, right? Those are our leaders. But we're just making an example of what the scriptures are saying. The so-called leaders of our people. You know what I'm saying? Pity them not. They really don't give a damn about people catching hell. As long as they got the bag. But let's get this though. Because I, I, I quoted something. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 7. Surely oppression. Make it for wise man. Man, so we supposed to be smiling every time. We catch a prayer hell. These people are giving us the business. But oh yeah, every time we turn around. Or every time they turn around. We supposed to be smiling, right? We supposed to be rejoicing in hell, right? Nah, man. You see brothers upset. Now we ain't constantly upset every fucking every second of the day man but yo you know the water you have man the lord got the angels protecting us man and these um these animals are starting to be at one with us man you see man we're living in some beautiful times man straight up living in some beautiful times surely oppression make up for a wise man mad and a gift a bribe a bag destroy the heart meaning the mind and that's the majority. And, and look at these um, Israelite, um, false Israelite groups. They're leaders. They don't give a damn what happens to the people. They showing up ain't one of the people or what's coming. Only thing they keep saying is June. It's June, it's June, it's June. Uh, the uh, marriageable age for a woman. Uh, go to college. Uh, building businesses. And all that other crap when all hell breaking loose. You see? Look how, look how many people we got in our camp. All this other BS, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to add up to nothing. But don't even pity what's happening to their own people, man. Once again, Ecclesiastes 7 and um, 7, surely oppression, truly oppression, make up a wise man mad and a guilt destroyed the heart. Going right back to what I, the first scripture I read. The Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. But, but it's going to be all good soon come. Because we're going to put yokes of irons around these devils soon come. And that's, that's said the Lord. That's said the Bible, man. According to the Bible, we're going to put um, chains around you devils soon come. Man, it's, it's going to be beautiful, man. Let's get this. Psalms 149 and 5. Let the saints be joyful and glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. Now, who are the saints? The Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. Those are the saints, right? Every, every, every nation up under the heaven is not a saint, right? 
says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their bed. This is a future prophecy. This haven't happened yet. This is talking about when we get in the kingdom, right? We're going to rejoice, all right? Because once again, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. We're going to sing aloud upon our beds in the kingdom. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, which is this word, and a two-edged sword in their hand. See, the fun ain't started, ain't even begin yet. You see? The fun hasn't even begun yet, man. The Lord gave us back those high holy names, those proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Gave us back our nationality. Where we really from? That's just, that's just the beginning of it, man. The, the juicy part that's coming up, man. And now we can really enter into the juicy part. Once this devil come in like a flood, knowing that he only got a short time to rule, then, then the juicy part starts, right? Once Lord Yahweh should I come, it, it's a wrap then. Once those chariots come, crack the skies, it's a wrap for all you heathens, man. Straight up. It says, and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance, payback upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind the kings with chains and the nobles with feathers of iron. You, you deserve it too. What, what they call it? Manifest destiny. It's going to be manifest destiny upon your head. So called chemtrails. Gotta look at planes passing by with chemtrails. Right? Like Sleazy is doing the most. Why? Because we're at the end of his rule, man. That's why, man. To bind the kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So, so these heathen nations most definitely gonna pay, man. We're gonna put heavy yokes of iron upon them, man. You see? And that's thus said the Lord. That's said the Bible. The Lord said, I'm gonna give you these heathens for an inheritance, man. You see, the world was made for our sakes anyway. Everybody's starting to figure that out now. Some of us anyway. If I want to get this though, just um land back on the scripture I just read about these heathens going into captivity. And and no, you're not coming back out of captivity. Like these heathens say, yeah, if we led y'all into captivity, now y'all get ready to lead us into captivity. But right after that, we're gonna leave y'all into captivity. Look, before I even read this, let's get a scripture just cutting all that. Look, look, we're never going to captivity ever again. And that's thus said the Lord. Thus said the Bible, and I'm, and I'm gonna get it. I'm going to get it. Let's just get it. According to the Bible. Let's see. Let's, let's get this because he either really want to do away with us. Let's get this right quick. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's mercy that we are not consumed. It's of the Lord's mercy that, that we still hear. The Hebrew Israelites are still here because of the Lord's mercy, man. Because cause leave it up to Sleazy E and these other heathen nations, they've they been wanting to do away with us so they can get their birthright back, right? Mainly Sleazy E, right? It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions, his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, man. You see, the Lord is my portion. Save my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him, man. You see? The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You see? So everything that we're going through right about now, it's all leading up to a greater cause, man. The story is beautiful. We went through rough waters. I mean, we caught pure hell. But look how the story is ending, man. The story is going to end with the children of Israel being shown mercy. And you heathens going ahead first in the captivity. Let's get this. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse um, 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's your, that's your biblical nationality. And look, you can try to run from it all you want to, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be full, it's going to come full circle. You got to eventually, you know what I'm saying, own up to who you are. You know what I mean? You, you have no other choice. You have no other choice, man. You see? He says, rejoice, be glad. I mean, you owning everything. I mean, the earth, you know what I'm saying, was given into the hands of the wicked. I mean, you ruling the earth in wickedness, you know what I mean? I mean, rejoice right about now. Do your thing, man. You know what I mean? We in captivity. It's this man's heaven right about now. So, I mean, when you see this man with everything, I mean, shit, man, I mean, 
you get upset a little bit, but then it's like, this man is ruling right about now. He's supposed to have everything. Because when we're ruled, we're going to have everything. And more and more and more of abundance, man. But everything that we have is going to be done in righteousness, man. All right? So the, so the Lord like, yo, rejoice. Rejoice your ass off right about now, man. And Sleazy he ain't looking too good over here in Babylon either. You see these devils, no saying, from your walks, you know what I'm saying, throughout different cities and you might be on the bus or you might be driving. These 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 Edomites are looking real bad. They're looking real through over here, man. But the Lord still say rejoice and be glad you're on their beach, beach resorts. You can go everywhere. You can go to Jamaica. You can go from, you can go to one of the um smallest little towns or continents or islands known to mankind where ain't nobody at. And you're still gonna get treated like a king. Why? Because you're ruling. And the Lord said rejoice. Best of living in the best neighborhoods. Oh man, you gonna go from sugar to shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You gonna go from sugar to shit within a blink of an eye, right? This is rejoicing me glad, O daughter of Edom, th that dwellers in the land of earth. And it's always talking about a people before us a place. Always, man. It's always talking about a people before us a place, right? It says, which dwelleth in the land of Uz, code name for America, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. What is that cup talking about? Slavery, man. The cup of slavery, man. And then they're going to drink it, man. It says, thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. They're going to have to drink down the dreads of it, right? And it's the point. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. That's us. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Who is the he? So-called white man. Sleazy E. Esau Edom. The Lord said he ain't going to never carry you into captivity ever again. It's the Lord speaking, man. Yeah, this is a beautiful scripture, right? He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Slavery. Because once again, I made a statement that they led us into captivity. And now we're telling them... We're going to lead them into captivity. they basically saying, look, y'all going to lead us into captivity. But after that, we're going to lead y'all right back into captivity. Well, Lord said, we ain't going into captivity ever again. He will visit thine iniquities, your wickedness, O daughter in Edom. He will discover thy sins, your transgressions, man. You see, all the wickedness that you have done on the face of the earth to the children of Israel, you're going to have to pay for each and every last bit of it, man. And this is thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Leviticus 25 and 44, both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, slave men, slave women. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have slave men and slave women soon come. All right, soon and very soon. Right, once this place is annihilated from off the face of the earth, the Lord's gonna give us our heart's desire, man. Our heart's desire. The Lord's gonna give us our heart's desire soon. Come, man. You know. And the scripture tell you in the book of Sirach, you know what I'm saying? A man desires to see the fall of his enemy. Let's just get that right quick. And I'm going to come right back. Let's just get that right quick. What is it, Sirach 25? Yep. Sirach chapter 25, the water Yahweh by Shemel Rashai. Sirach chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy in his mind. And a tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. Which we can't enjoy our babies right about now. Cause shit, cause as soon as the woman had the babies, she signed them off to the state, right? So, so one of the joys of a man is to have joy over his children, right? To see his children, um, grow older, and then his children have children, and his children have children, and his children have children, and see them all grow, man. Generation after generation after generation, man. That's what brings joy to a man, right? It says, um, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So it's going to be a beautiful thing for us to see the downfall of our enemy, man. All right? Lightning bugs, man. Everything's going to rejoice when this devil goes down, man. Shit, you barely see a lightning bug. You'd be shocked when you see a lightning bug like, damn, they still exist? Because this devil destroying everything, man. That's his MO. Is it? I, the first scripture I brought out, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, everything mourns. So let's get this, Baruch chapter 4. And I'm going to go right back to that Lamentations. Baruch chapter 4. Verse, um, I'm going to start at 22. Matter of fact, I start at 21. Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. Salakia. Ain't, ain't shit real, food ain't real, water ain't mass, ain't shit real, man. But the Lord said we're going to eat our bread defiled among the Gentiles, right? 
Um, Baruch chapter 4 verse 21 Be of good cheer O my children The children of Israel Cry unto the Lord That's what we're doing and Look look And he shall deliver you From the power and hand Of the enemies And that's what the Lord is going to do the Lord got a sign and crying Right about now For all the abominations That be done in the midst thereof And the Lord said Yeah you're going to cry unto me And I'm going to deliver you Out of the hands of your enemies Right It says um, For my hope is in the everlasting That will save Slucky for my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you and joy is coming to me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior, Lord Yahweh Shai, right? For I sent you out with mourning. We left the land of Israel mourning, fleeing, hauling ass, getting the hell out of Dodge, right? I sent you out with mourning and weeping. But the Most High Yahweh will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever, forever, man, forever, man. Remember when the righteous are in the authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn forever, man. We're going to be joyous forever, man. Never a sad day, man, ever again, man. Let's read on. Like, like as now the neighbors of Zion, these heathens, have seen your captivity. And then, and then over here in Babylon, this is the main place that our people don't know who they are. But cross seas, these people know who we are, man. You see, the, these heathen nations know who went head first in the captivity on slave ships. They know, man. And they know who was already over here in this land. They got led in, in head first in the captivity too. After this land was stolen, the natives, right? It says, um, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly. Remember, salvation is nearer than what we believe. They shall see shortly your salvation from our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by way of the chariots, right? Which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High Yahweh. For thine enemy have persecuted thee. Remember, they held they, they held themselves not guilty when they persecuted the shit out of us, man. And still to this day, man, they rejoicing like I don't know what, man. They rejoicing at our downfall. They love to see us in the ghettos. They love to see us on crack. They love to see us bug the hell out, man. Walking around the streets with no nothing to do and nowhere to go. They love it, man. They get off on it, man. They, they said, pretty much they said in the book of Lamentations, they said this is the day that they look forward to us being taken down as a nation. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High Yahweh. For thine enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Eh, like you. We always tired. Beat the hell down, man. But the Lord says shortly they're going to see our salvation and we're going to get the tread upon their neck. So let's go right back. Let's go back to Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44. Both thy bond men and thy bond maids, which thou shalt have, which we shall possess, shall be they of the heathen, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bond men. And bond made. We're gonna be selling y'all and everything. Going back to Joel. Going right back to Joel. We're gonna put you. We're gonna put you on um, auction and blocks. We're gonna put you on cargo slave ships too, man. This is look, man. All this is gonna happen. Remember the Lord. Uh, what is it? Isaiah 34 and 16. None of these shall fail. This might as well just get that right quick. Might as well. The Lord said we're gonna put um, yokes of iron upon their neck. The curse is gonna hit them hard too. This is um, Isaiah. Hell, it was 98 today. This is on Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. And the read, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the Bible, and read. No one of these shall fail. And in the prophecies, everything is going to come to pass. It says, None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. And so, so it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. What's that other scripture I want to get? I ain't brought this out in a little while. Let's just get this right quick. Jeremiah. And then I want to get this first. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Behold, I am the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the God of all flesh. 
Is there anything to offer me? So is it a hard thing? You know what I'm saying? Is it a hard thing for the Heavenly Father and His Son to give these heathens for us to put them in slavery? No, man, that's easy, man. That's, that's easy, man. You, you mean you got a power that's creating planets, man. You think, you know what I'm saying, it's a hard thing for Him to give us these heathens so we can put them in the captivity? That's a light thing, man. That's a small thing. So let's go here. Jeremiah 30, 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee, they rattles of everything. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee. And, and right about now, that, that looks, to a carnal man, that looks impossible. You know what I'm saying? That looks impossible. For the Lord to restore Israel. And bring them back to that beautiful state. That seems pretty much impossible right about now. But all things are possible with the hour by Shemel I ain't nothing too hard for the Lord, right? It says, for I will restore health unto thee. Our people ain't going to be on crack no more. Our people ain't going to be part of the alphabet group no more. Our people ain't going to be committing adultery no more. Our people ain't going to be worshiping idols anymore. The Lord going to bring us back to full health, man. Let them new bodies will never go off ever again, man. Ever again. And we're going to be laying the law of the Lord down upon the earth, man. Laying it down. It is, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, save the Lord. Because, and this is our faith, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh out of. So the only thing they do is make fun of us each and every day. They're like, yo, this can't be the children of the Lord. Look at them. Look at them, man. They, they ain't nothing but crooks and criminals. They on drugs. Look, just look at they through the T H R U U U. But the Lord, like yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, turn um, right side up, man. Everything is upside down right about now. The Lord's gonna turn the right side up, man. And, and, and it's beautiful, man. So you heathens, go in and rejoice, like the Lord just said. Rejoice, have your fun. You know, uh, live your best life. Drink the best water. Eat the best fruits right about now. I mean, go to the nicest spots. Do whatever you want to do right now. Because soon come when the Lord pop up on the scene, you'll never do it ever again, man. All right? You'll never do it ever again. And you heathens going into captivity for a thousand long, drawn out years. And after a thousand long, drawn out years, Sleazy E is going to be eradicated from off the face of the earth. And you heathens, y'all going to be giving y'all land back again, man. But y'all going to be, um, what is it, um, servitude, you know what I'm saying? A tributary, you know what I'm saying? To the children of Israel for all eternity, man. The scriptures say the gates of um, Jerusalem shall be open continually that, that they may um, receive or bring in the forces of the Gentiles, meaning their goods, their substance, man. Even their virgin daughters, man. It's really getting ready to go down, man. We just fight that good fight of faith for right now, you know what I'm saying? To the Lord make his move. To the Lord come, Lord willing, and deliver us out of this hell hole, man. But yeah, I just wanted to bring out some scriptures. You wondering why you you mourning right about now? Because the wicked is ruling. But they're not going to rule forever, man. Judgment is fastly approaching, man. And these heathens are going to have to pay for everything that they did to it, man. So once again, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Captivity is like right around the corner for you heathens, man. All you heathen nations rejoice and be glad. All you heathen nations rejoice and be glad. Slavery is fastly approaching. Shalom.